Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to graph some hyperbolas with the center at the origin. So they're still in the general form x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1, or y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. The difference? In this case, we have the transverse axis horizontal, which means the axis that goes through the hyperbola, through the vertices, and through the foci is in a horizontal position this way which means the hyperbola will be drawn like this in this case the transverse axis is vertical so the axis that goes to the foci and that goes to the vertices will now be vertical which means in this direction so the hyperbola will be drawn like that but the best way to draw that is to go ahead and find out what a and b are equal to so when it's already in this form you can see that a squared is equal to 9 so therefore you know that a is equal to 3 and b squared is equal to 16 which means that b is equal to 4. You know that a are the points on the x-axis where the vertices are so that means that plus 3 and at minus 3 on the x-axis that's where you find the vertices of the hyperbola so minus 3 there plus 3 there and b equals 4 that will be on the y-axis those will be two points that are not on the hyperbola so 1, 2, 3, 4 right there that's plus 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4 that's minus 4 over here so what you're going to do now is you're going to graph a box with a dashed dash line to the point y equals 4 x equals 3 y equals negative 4 and x equals negative 3 on the x and y axis now what you want to do is you want to graph lines going from one corner to the other corner in both directions. So you're going to graph a line this way, goes through that corner, to the origin, to the other corner, and out like this. And then you're going to graph a second line that goes through this corner, to the origin, and to the other corner. Now, you know that the parabola is going to be drawn like this. That means the what we call the transverse axis is going to be horizontal this is going to be the point that where the hyperbola goes through at x equals plus 3 and at x equals minus 3 and then asymptotically they will reach these two straight lines like that so the hyperbola will then be drawn like this and asymptotically get closer and closer and closer to that line and the same over here closer and closer and closer to this line without actually touching it of course because in reality the line, this line will never be touched All right. Same on the other side, goes to this point right there, and asymptotically gets closer to that line, and here gets asymptotically closer to that line. So that's how you graph a hyperbola. Here, of course, this will be the point 3, comma 0, and this will be the point minus 3, 0. So those are the two vertices. How do you find the foci? Well, the foci will be found by saying that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So in this case, c squared is equal to a squared, which is 9 plus b squared which is 16 c squared is equal to 25 which means c is equal to 5 which means that the point right here 5 0 and at this point minus 5 0 will be the two foci of this of these uh, the hyperbola all right now going to the right side now we're going to have our transverse axis vertical notice that a is associated with the points on the axis where the hyperbola will touch so here you can see that a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 2 because the square root of 25 is 5 the square root of 4 is 2 which means that the hyperbola will go to this point 1 2 3 4 5 and this point right here negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 over here All right so the hyperbola will go this way and this way now to know what exactly it looks like you also need to draw the points on the x-axis associated with b this time and so it will be plus 2 and minus 2 and now we're going to graph a box so here's the box to that point down this way down this way and down this way and now you have to draw straight lines from each corner to the origin and on beyond so draw the straight line this way and on beyond and this way beyond that way and then same over here so to the origin to the other corner and straight this way and straight this way so the hyperbola is constrained by having to cross through these two points and then staying within those two straight lines 
asymptotically reaching closer but not ever touch, asymptotically reaching closer, never touch, same here, oh, that's slightly off, let me try that again, this and closer, and this way, closer, closer, but never touching like that, and those, that would be the way you draw the hyperbola with the transverse axis vertical, and the hyperbola with the transverse axis horizontal like that. Okay, uh, let's see here, where would the foci be? Well, the foci would be somewhere over there. Let's find out. So C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. In this case, that's equal to 25 plus 4, which is 29. So if C squared is equal to 29, that means C is equal to the square root of 29, which is like 5 and a half or something like that. So the foci are very close. One would be there, one would be there. At the points 0 and minus the square root of 29, and here would be at 0 and plus the square root of 29. That would be the location of the foci. And that's how you graph the hyperbolas in both directions.